All right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the long range, and uh, we're going to continue working with this rifle right here. I call this rifle the Elite Build. And uh, the reason I call it the Elite Build beca is because I have placed in this rifle and put this thing together with some of the finest parts that I can possibly imagine. And I've done a few AR-15 uh, builds in my day, and this guy uh, I would consider probably the best. Uh, some of you guys in the last video, you've asked about it, so let's just go over it real quickly. We've got a Veltor stock uh, and tube with the silent, uh, JP Sonic Capture Spring. We've got the JP Upper and Lower Receiver Set, the JP Mark III Handguard. i got the Arca Rail right here a 20 inch proof research carbon fiber wrap barrel one and eight twist with the Ultradyne Apollo S and running the uh, Trigger Tech Diamond Trigger, eh, probably pulling it at about two pounds. And this is a hand, uh, a grip by the guys over there at Fab Defense, my good friends. And that's basically, oh, and a uh, low mass operating system uh, bolt and bolt carrier with a, uh, what is this thing, the Radiant Raptor. Uh, charging handle, one of my favorites. Primary arms, 630 platinum with the Athena BPR mill reticle. Uh, and the throw lever, we did a review on it last week. Guys, if you're interested, this Caldwell tripod, I'll be putting a link down below. They're, uh, they're affordable now, and it's one of the things that I like to use uh, to sight my rifles in and check the tracking, the scopes, and things like that. And then in my rear bag here, I think this is a Tiger Swan. It's just something that I bought. Uh, what are we doing today? This is, it's an interesting thing, and it leads up to the, uh, the event that we've got coming up with the uh, Sniper's Unknown Challenge, and one of the things that I want to do is i got to set this rifle up along with the scope, as well as a couple different items. We are using the Kestrel. This is the uh, 2700 uh, Elite with the Link system in it, and it is tethered to the uh, Leica Rangemaster2800.com. And I will be doing reviews on these things as we get things set up down the road. Uh, the idea here is that once you set up your ballistics in this guy right here, your Kestrel, then all I have to do is laze the target with this guy. And it tethered to the Kestrel. And once I get a, a solid Bluetooth signal there because it went to bed or went to sleep, then what happens is, is this guy will give me not only the uh, elevation, the degree uh, of the angle of the shot, but it'll give me my yardage and a firing solution. Not only in here, I'll get the firing solution, but it'll also be here. And I'm working on the idea of maybe uh, putting this guy here while I'm shooting, and then my partner Rick can laze the targets as we go, or I can go ahead and laze the targets beforehand and write them on the, uh, the dope card right here. Okay, moving forward, we were on a chat the other night with my good friend X-Ring, uh, Mr. Ring, and is your six covered? And they had Kenny on there from Eagle Eye. Now, Eagle Eye Kenny is one bad mamma jamma when it comes to shooting. Well, hell, they all are. And they were talking about hitting the golf ball at 600 yards. And I chimed in and said, hell, I'll do it. <laughs> you know what? So we're going to give it a shot. Uh, so what we're doing right now is we're setting up for the shot. And we're using a couple different things. What I want to do is I want to take uh, eight different manufacturers of ammo. And we're going to chrono. We're going to do a five-round shot group. I've got a camera down there on the target. And then we're going to chrono it. I have a camera on the chrono. And uh, we're going to see, one, the, uh, the extreme spread. What I am looking for is, one, the round with the combined, uh, the closest uh, group with the least amount of spread between the, uh, in, in muzzle velocity in the five rounds. Because what I have to do then is I have to place my golf ball at 600 yards and then I have two shots from a cold bore to hit that golf ball. Now what I'm planning on doing is I am going to enter that data into this guy right here, all right? And we're probably gonna do this thing first thing in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna come out here real early and when there's no wind. Right now we got a little bit of gust. It's weird on this range because there's a, uh, about a seven degree elevation between where I'm at and the 1000. So there, you can be perfectly here, but you've got winds that are moving and gusting and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So 
Uh, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do, and the guys, I bought all this ammo prior to the, uh, the shortage which came, came about, but the, uh, first series of ammunition that we're going to do is the Norma. All these are 77 grain. This is the Norma match 223 Sierra match King hollow point boat tail 77 grain. So let's go ahead and put our hearing protection in by hear guards and, uh, dot com. <laughs> And I'm testing these things out because we're shooting a three gun event this weekend, Carolina three gun. If you're anywhere near Ashboro, North Carolina, uh, look up Carolina three gun and come on out and watch us. Uh, a lot of guys from Fort Bragg out there. And uh, it's, a lot of guys are preparing for the uh, Memorial three gun in October. And uh, this is a good stepping step to get prepped for up for that thing. I'm not gonna be able to perform because my wife will kill me if I miss too much home time. I know, I know. All right, so here we go. Uh, a lot of people say they, uh, their, their harmonics get screwed up by this, uh, using a tripod or a rest. I have not had that experience. So what we're going to do is I'm going to lock this thing in. We're going to shoot at the top dot. Uh, the nice thing is, is having a camera on the chrono is I can concentrate on what I'm doing here. And then I can go back and look at the muzzle velocities. I'm going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Right now we're about 91 degrees. So here we go. Top dot, and I got this thing zero. You can spend a couple rounds of the uh, Norma to get her zeroed in. I had to re-level the scope. As you remember, that wasn't done. All right, here we go. Breathing is everything. Okay. What are we getting? I'm trying to not to come off of the cheek well. Impossible what I'm doing now. All right. So you guys are seeing the muzzle velocities before I am, but what we'll do is we'll do an assessment at the end of the, vi uh, the video after I get to watch what we're doing. All right, so that was the Norma. Um, and I'd say that's a, a, that's a really, <laughs> it's kind of a nice group. All right, so uh, the, the idea also is to, and I've got a thousand rounds of the MagTech, thanks to the guys over there at Cali Key uh, who help support the channel uh, through a lot of testing that I did with those guys. So let's try out the double tap ammunition. This is also the double tap long range, uh, 77 grain. And out of a 22 inch barrel, you're supposed to get 28.55. Now I know this bores on some of you guys, but honestly, this is the necessary evil, honestly. Uh, and what we do in, in an effort to hit a damn golf ball. But also, one of the things you will find is that uh, not every ammo will like your barrel. Not every barrel will like a specific ammo. So we have to find that perfect combination and see where we go. Okay, I'm gonna go the next one down. Whew. Here we go. What are we getting out of it? 27.77, okay. That one hit right. That one did good too. Uh, I don't know what the uh, spread was between the rounds, but uh, the two we had two rounds laying on top of each other. Three were a big differential. Okay, so that was double tap. I would prefer consistency, slower velocities and a tighter group. So uh, next, let's try the uh, SSA. This is the, uh, by Nosler, this is 556, 70 tip, 77 grain open tip. Left side target.
Wow. Oops, she's feeding the left. Wow. Okay. My barrel does not like this stuff, but that's fine. And she's a lot slower than the other ones. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to save the uh, PMC because I'm really hoping that this guy uh, does well simply because this is, you can still buy this. Uh, all right, let's try the Nexus. This is their 223 77 grain match. Uh, 2620 is the muzzle velocity published on the box. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to let that barrel cool down a little bit. I do have a fan, and I'm going to get it out and use it. And, uh, meanwhile, I'm going to get myself a little bit of Gatorade. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so this is a uh, really cool little deal. This is the Caldwell Shooting Supplies Acumax AR Barrel Cooler. I bought this guy probably a year or so ago. I'll put the link down below on it as well. It's a pretty neat little guy. Uh, you plug it in through a USB port, and then... Uh, what it does, it blows air through uh, and cools your barrel down a little bit faster than it would if it was just sitting around. Let's let that cool down. Hmm. All right, back to the barrel's cooler than uh, this uh, fat wrench box. <laughs> okay, so uh, what do we say? We're going to run the uh what the heck did i say we're gonna run the nexus so here we go my reading glasses on uh right side target holy shit Nexus. That's a contender. That's unreal. That's a five round shot group. Okay, very good. Uh, all right, let's go with the Winchester. This is the Winchester Match uh, 77 grain. Uh, the good thing is, is uh, if I elect to go with the Nexus, Okay, I don't have to touch the scope. I just got to uh, reset the, the turrets. So Nexus is pretty much, uh, that, that was pretty badass right there. All right, let's go ahead with the Winchester. See how we got there. All right, center target. Wow, okay. I don't even want to waste my time on that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What I'm trying to do is keep my barrel temperature down. Right now we're at 146. Let's go ahead and put the fan back in it and let her cool down. There we go. Okay, so uh, that Nexus right there, that was a personal best. That's a .38 MOA. That was uh, absolutely ridiculous. Barrels are down. Good. That's crazy. Absolutely unreal. Okay, so what do we got now? Uh, so... 
let's try the uh, X-Tac. I want to try that. Uh, it's affordable. But I will tell you this, if I've got to shoot like some serious precision stuff out of this rifle, that, that was... I'm glad I got that on video. <laughs> okay, so here goes the X-Tac. Settled in here. All right. Bottom left. What kind of muzzle velocity is we getting out of that? 25, wow, okay. All right, string them. All right. Uh, I want to try the uh, Six Hour Elite, and this stuff is actually uh, very consistent. I've, I've shot this before out of a couple different rifles. I'm going to save five rounds, uh, because if this is the good stuff, then we're going to be... I don't think anything is going to beat the uh, Nexus. That's absolutely ridiculous. That is unreal. I feel sorry for the rest of the ammo in the world. Unreal. All right, bottom right. I feel like if something's going to beat it, it's going to be these next two. Ah, oh, shit. Not bad. Shit. Without that flyer, I think we would have had a match. Hmm. What's our speed on those? 2601? Yeah. Muzzle velocity is a little down. At least what I'm catching. I have to look at the video after we get done. Uh, all right, X Tac. Let's check our barrel temperature. Trying to keep it below 120, 130. So we're at 131, 126. Uh, to make fair, let's go ahead and put the uh, cooler back to it. And then we'll run the nozzler. All right, let's go ahead and take this thing out of here. Where are we at on our barrel temperature? Yeah, we're fine. The cool thing about this deal is it clips in there like a magazine, and you release it this the same way. All right, so what are we doing here? We've got our uh, shoot. I forgot to uh, load the magazine. Nozzler, 77 green. The founder. Oh yeah, I'm having fun texting that photo to everyone already. All right, here we go. Bottom dot. Holy shit, what was that? Oh, 24.40. Oh, that's nasty. Yep. I'm not even worried about it. Okay, so we figured it out. <laughs> so with that, what I will do is I will enter the data, the feet per second, because I have the, uh, the it's a, we're going to use a G7, which I think is a 217 for the uh, Sierra Match Keen 77 grain. And uh, we'll load all that information up into the uh, Kestrel. And then uh, we will come back out here where there's no wind 
in the morning because it has to be almost the perfect conditions. I will verify the uh, the shot on target, and then we'll reset the zero the zero stops on these uh, on the turrets. The Nexus is uh, going to be the go-to. So I've got 15 rounds of this stuff, and of course, hitting a golf ball at 600 yards is going to be a lot of fun. At least trying. Cold bore, right? So that's some beautiful ammunition. Man, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's almost as good looking as the stuff I reload. So with that being said, guys, uh, the next part of this video is going to be the actual attempt at shooting a golf ball. I feel like Evil Knievel. But uh, man, what a great time. Honestly, just sitting out here having fun. Sent the photos to X-Ring and uh, Rick. Hopefully they'll shoot that over to the, uh, the almighty illustrious one, uh, uh, Eagle Eye. And uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, this is, yeah, this is my favorite rifle. Uh, 0.38 MOA at 100 yards with a 77 grain Nexus match grade. I'm going online right now, and I am going to see if I can't find me some more of that stuff. Anyway, with that being said, God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. I'm Boy 32 If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And all that other neat jazz. I am out of here. That was a lot of fun. Y'all be good. Wow.